Hey y'all, this is Niambi Knows. What's up? I'm back 2020. So I was scrolling through the internet yesterday and I saw one of my friends post a no wheat, no sugar, no dairy brownie. Now you know we all like sweets, so I don't know about this. So I decided I'm gonna make it and possibly waste my money so y'all don't have to waste y'all money and make this no wheat, no dairy, no sugar brownie. Hmm. Okay, so let's get started. It's real simple. So here's the ingredients for the no wheat, no sugar, no dairy brownies. We have a half a cup of dairy-free chocolate chips, three tablespoons cocoa. We have a half a cup of almond butter, half a cup of sweet potatoes, a half a cup of avocado, two tablespoons maple syrup, a fourth of a cup of coconut milk, and then we're gonna put it in the blender. So yeah, that looks really healthy. So next you blend all the ingredients um, in the blender. This is how it looks. And then next we're gonna add in the chocolate chips. All right, so I stirred in the chocolate chips and now we're gonna put it in a loaf pan that I lined with parchment paper and sprayed with non-stick cooking spray. Ooh, looks, it looks like a brownie. Hopefully it tastes like one. And then we'll spread it out. So next we're gonna put it in a preheated 325 degree oven and cook it for 20 minutes. We're gonna see how it turns out. See you later. So here are the brownies cooled out of the oven cut. They look like brownies. I had to end up cooking them for about 30 minutes, but I say cook them for about 20 minutes and then check. It took my, my oven 30 minutes. They look good, so now let's taste them. All right, we're about to test these no wheat, no sugar, no dairy brownies. Like I said, they look like brownies. They smell a little different. They don't smell like exactly like brownies. Okay, here we go. And I'm gonna give y'all the real deal. Okay, the consistency is a little, even though they're done, they cook for 30 minutes. A little moist, probably from the almond butter, the avocados, sweet potato. But they're holding up really well, so let's see. They taste like brownies. It tastes like a really wet chocolate cake. Like really wet. Really, really wet. Hmm. I like them. I mean, if you have a real picky, picky, picky eater, they may not like them, but I think they taste like a brownie for it to be made with avocado, no flour, no sugar in it. I think you all should make them. See, look. Naomi Nose says make this brownie. Not bad. Not bad at all. And it's kind of guilt free. See that? Mm. All right. Until next time.